Hello everyone and welcome to another Yukon UPDC construction project update. My name is Lugette and today is October 17, 2018. We are on the Fine Arts Phase 2 construction project. This will be our third video of the series and we'll be taking you through progress today. Let's begin using our aerial photography in the north end of the project site where you see the truck coming through our main entrance right there. And looking down at our steam lines, we're going to show you that tie-in to the existing vault, how we're working feverishly to get that on and steam onto the buildings in the next week or two. Most recently, the electrical demolition has been completed last weekend, which is allowing us the access road to the left-hand side to be able to work on our foundations. Last month, we talked about hoping to get started on the foundations, and here we are, our tunnel, walls and floor have been built. We're looking to the right hand side. There's a pump truck preparing itself to place today. And finally, over the last month, we had a good chance to get started on the basement here. About 50% of the basement. 50% because they couldn't go all the way to the end because they had to remove the electrical lines. A little closer look and we're going to take you down shortly to the elevator pit in our mechanical room down through here. But what a great shot of the tunnel where it ties into the existing. We just flew from north to south. We're gonna now fly from south to north, a little bit lower, get a great opportunity to see the tunnel. The lid will be next after the walls cure in through there. We'll show you our shoring and our uh, temporary uh, detail supporting the utilities through in the section right in through here. Very nice. And finally, this is the shot we always take. This is our diagonal shot. <clears throat> so each view has a, a different look. And especially this time of year, there's so many shadows from the low sun. But a great feat going on today. There is our pump truck. What you see is the primer that he's discharging right there. It's about noontime during the day. They're getting ready to pour both sets of walls this afternoon. And finally, again, we get to fly over and see the tie-in with the tunnel, the foundations. We're going to take you shortly and show you where the excavator is tying into the corner of the building. There he is right over there. Next, we're going to fly over our corridor. And this is a feature point of the project. We're going to talk about this all the time. We're going to basically fly directly over our new corridor. This is the public way that is right up against drama music. That's building A and building B and finally C in the corner. We explained to you how the V columns will be installed down in this section, and this will be a feature area for the students to gather. There'll be some skylights in this area. What a spot. About last time, our new electrical transformer right in through here. The big process happened last week was the existing line. If you go back to the previous video, I showed you there was a transformer and a switch on the other side of the building. The existing cable came down in through here. We're going to show you how the, what was demoed up here in the pile up in here. The major shutdown last week, that was the last utility out of the way. It's perfect. I'm going to show you the foundations up in through here. We talked about them in the overhead. They can now continue over here now that this electric line has been removed. And that was the big crux. So all of the utilities, all the existing utilities, that electrical being the last one uh, to be removed are now removed. And now we in the overhead, a quick explanation on the ground, our existing steam vault right through there. That was the old steam line, the flange that you see right there. And again, you have to remove the old utility to bring in the new, new utility in. That's what's happening right in here. Those two pipes will end up being cored into the vault. They'll be tied in right in through there. Pick back up over here, this roadway, this access roadway. Pipes have gone through here. They're buried underneath here. We pick them back up over here. They're welding the joints in through here. We just placed some lines right over in here. But the process we have going in here is we've got to get the new steam lines right to the edge of the tunnel. Then they're going to run a temporary line in get up to the building. Let's take a look back at the two pipes that were placed yesterday. They're in, in a rough position right now. They're just beginning to work the joints right here. But a great time to look at what's required, the existing utilities. 
This is a duck bank in through here, an ugly duck bank at that. You can see where it crossed. Something over here was boxed out. We have a great spot to put some wood in. There was another crossing of, that was a telecommunication bio duck over in this section right in through here. It was quite the spaghetti of utilities in this section. And then ultimately what's required to shore these up. So we had uh, shoring for protection of the men on the sides and they were able to use that with some six by sixes to support this area right in here. So creativity and temporary shoring is definitely a theme to go together here. And lastly, the, the final connection, these pipes come in and then they travel up. They pitch upwards because they're racked onto the wall. They're a little higher on the wall. They don't just sit right on the floor, which is about the elevation that they are coming in through here. We're at the end of the tunnel. We can see the rebar turns its corner right in through here. They're placing the walls today, very exciting. First the slab, then the walls, then the cap. We can see the rebar on the cap on here. And just a note, I usually like to shoot my videos at four o'clock. This job has been working from sunrise to sunset. It's lunchtime. The crews are still working right straight through lunch. Get a chance to see the pump truck we talked about in the overhead. It's about 70 feet of stick up into the air. It's hopper on the back end. All this has happened because the utilities have been removed. And it was great. While the electric was still in here last week, they got a good jump on working to the right-hand side, or what we would call the west-hand side of the project. We're gonna take you up into the only section that's foundation, right in through here. One comes through here, we're watching the excavator thread the needle on this corner over there. That's an existing drain line, you see. The basement comes over here and ties into the corner, and that's what he's excavating for right there. But quickly, this is the only section, as I mentioned, that has basement down in through here. We're looking at the finished floor elevation. You see it's just above the top of the wall so that the new slab comes through here. All right, then elevation, and that's exactly this elevation that comes right in through here. And the same floor elevation, I'm gonna follow my hand, comes through here like this, and the tunnel is beneath it that you see down in that section right in here. As we peek inside the foundation, quickly, sump pit down in through here, that'll be a low point. To draw water out. This is the mechanical space in through here, hence that's why there's a break in the new tunnel to the existing tunnel over there. The new utilities will tie in this way over and through here. That will be our new electrical room over in this area. And they're coming over here. This excavation is deeper. That will be for the footing for the elevator pit. And the elevator will be right into this section over into here. And finally, there'll be a set of stairs back in through here. You see the soils in here, right? This is existing. It's virgin material down in through here. You don't see any breaks. There was some utility in here that stained it. The orange rust we call man manganese in through here. You get a chance to see the processed gravel from the existing building right in through here. Very nice. Again, the elevator pit, we're just getting ready to start. Over excavate, a stone bed, they'll begin the waterproofing process right in through here. A well point to be able to drain any existing water down in through here. So it's pretty neat. This is the be the electrical room, our floor of our electrical room through here. We'll take a walk in and we'll follow this progress along our mechanical space down in here. As I mentioned from the above, the new tunnel, the existing tunnel, all the pipe work gets connected right in through there. So that's existing pipe through there. Right, our steam and water lines in through this section right in through here. That gets tied in, we'll keep an eye on that. We'll spin back around and take a look. Pretty tall walls in here, look to be 12, 14 feet up. We were just standing up on the top, the excavator through there. Our demo is complete on the existing theater building right in through here. The beam is left for a tie-in up over and through there. We took you for a walk last time in this one section through here. Here we are all the way up to the building and there they were, the conduits. They pulled the cables out in through here. This was the raceway that went under the building to the front switch that was holding up this section right in through here. You can see our utilities, our drainage utilities in through here. We're going to spin around with a reminder. This is our courtyard, our light court area in through here. Remember, we're gonna have the V columns in here to support the roof in this section. All right, so it's great now that this 
has been out. We're really picking up progress in this area. All right, we talked about the excavator. We're getting ready to make our final tie-in. That's what's going on here. Okay, this is where we wrap in and tie the foundation back into the existing building, right in through here. This wall comes over here, ties in. This space gets filled with dirt. Again, our only, our only basement area is this little box out area right in through here. I just explained to you about the elevator pit down in through here. Okay, and once again, the slab elevation comes right over the top here, goes over in through there. Great progress. Again, today is October 17, 2018, and we thank you for your interest in our university projects. Remember to subscribe to our UPDC YouTube channel. At the bottom in red here, a click on the subscribe, a second click on the bell right next to it. Now you'll receive an automatic email every time we add a video to this site. We thank you for your interest in our university projects. Have a great day.